Okay, welcome back to this uh, third video about the Pattern Maker plugin. And in this last video, I will just uh, go over the, the last two rollouts, starting by uh, randomization. Um, let me turn this off oh. so it's easier to see. Okay, the raw offset. Um, what it does it just uh, it will randomly uh, uh, offset the raw offset. For example, if I would put this to zero. To zero. Let's see right now if I turn on a little bit of row offset, so this randomly offset each row in the plus or minus 2.4 range. Okay, all the other uh, spinners here just um, adjust randomly adjust each brick individually. So. For example, put the Z offset. As you can see, each brick individually gets uh, randomly offset in the plus 9.4 to minus 9.4 centimeter uh, range. Same goes for uh, the rotating and the tilting. Uh, another option that I added is the, the noise. So we'll just uh, add a little bit of uh, a noise to, uh, to the bricks. Uh, what it does is it will uh, randomly offset offset each vertex. So I would put this to the max ten. As you can see, each uh, each bricks uh, is uh, quite uh, distorted. They're not uh, boxes uh, anymore at all. So this is a bit too much. So if you keep this setting to something pretty low, it will add uh, a little bit of extra uh, randomness to your pattern. It uh, adds a little bit of noise. Okay, let's go on to the mapping. Um, I created a little material. Let's see. This one. So you can see it nicely. Okay, I've got the standard box mapping and uh, an advanced where you can create a new map coordinates. If I would just apply the box map coordinates, uh, you will see the, uh, the edges, the corners that will get cut off. This uh, will be fixed if you create a new map coordinates. As you can see. So why do I still have the, the standard box mapping? Well, you can uh, basically use it uh, when you're using custom objects. Because this new uh, map coordinates creation will just uh, create them for each uh, each object that creates, uh, uh, even the custom objects. So if you have uh, custom objects with this uh, own UV mapping, you can just use the, the normal standard box mapping and it will just only uh, apply this mapping to the standard bricks it will uh, will make. But for, uh, for this demonstration I will just uh, use the, the new map coordinates. The second thing, you can also create a second map channel. What uh, this does, it will uh, just create a second map channel with uh, planar mapping just straight from above. So for example, if I have like uh, uh, this stripes for the road, this texture, um, which I have on uh, map channel 2. If I'll show it right now, it's just show black. So if I create the second map channel, uh, the stripes uh, will get in there. I can show this by, you see, over here, map channel 2. There. See, it's created uh, a nice planar map. You can use the composite map. So basically, uh, if you want to put like uh, in this case stripes on the road on top of your normal texture, you can uh, use a composite map. Put those stripes uh, in the addition to your normal texture. Can just do a test render. 
you can see uh, you have the normal texture, stone texture, and then you have the stripes uh, on top of that. This is a quick way to uh, to add uh, some more texture detail like this. So you can also uh, think of other things you want to have added uh, onto your pattern. Okay, let's go back to the, the arrow again, so I can see the, uh, the other options a bit better. The random UV flips. As you can see, it will just randomly uh, flip uh, the UVs around. The random rotate UV by 90 will just randomly ro rotate the UVs by 90 or 180 or 270. As you can see the arrows are also pointing sideways. I've got a third option which is the random UV offsetting. Which is, uh, what this does is it will just scale down uh, each map or each uh, UV a bit and offset them. Uh, let me just show it. As you can see the arrows got on a, a little bit bigger but they're not perfectly aligned anymore. And maybe it's best if I show it again in the in web modifier. As you can see, all the, 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 the texture maps are just a little bit smaller and offset a bit. Which just gives that more added randomness to your textures. And with that, uh, we've come to an end. And uh, well, I think this plugin has uh, some nice potential to it. And I just uh, thank you for uh, trying this plugin out, and hope you enjoy it. Goodbye.